just end this conversation on this. There's a lot of pushback this morning uh, against the administration for this move coming from <laughs> yeah. critics. You've got everybody from Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. I read her tweet, yeah. uh, tweet earlier to the secretary, <laughs> to Colin Kaepernick, Senator. Uh, Kaepernick writes, there is nothing new about American terrorist attacks against black and brown people for the expansion of American imperialism. Your response. Yeah. Yeah, he's a loser on and off the field. He has no idea what the Iranian regime has done to the region. He has no idea that they have uh, 600 American deaths as a result of IEDs made in Iran, used in Iraq. Uh, it's un-American. He's a racist. If you're looking for racism in American, Mr. Kaepernick, look in the mirror. Your country's not the problem. It's the Iranians, and you're so blinded by your hatred of Trump that you can't see the difference between who we are and who the Ayatollah is, pretty sad. So you don't believe Congress should have been uh, spoken to first before this strike? The president was obviously responding to attacks, but what, what's your take in terms uh, right. of Congress? Well, I've been a military lawyer for 33 years. Uh, these troops are in the field at the direction of the commander in chief with the support of the Congress. You do not need cons congressional authorization to defend troops in the field in harm's way. AOC doesn't know anything about the law of armed conflict, obviously. Every commander in chief has the right to defend our people on the battlefield. It was clear to me that this was a defensive strike, that Mr. Soleimani was planning additional attacks against American interest. In AOC's world, I guess we're supposed to sit back and watch a bunch of Americans get killed. We're not the bad guys. The Iranians are the bad guys. And if you don't see that, you've missed a lot in the last 40 years.